Hi Pisces, my name is Latron with Power Life Hypnosis and this is your 2020 Love and Romance Prediction Reading. As always, thank you to those of you who thumbs up and like my readings. Thank you to those of you who comment and share. Thank you to all of my old subscribers as well as all of my new subscribers. To book a private reading with me, check the description box below. There are links to my website, powerlifehypnosis.com, as well as direct links to book a reading with me now. Also, in the description box, make sure to grab your free three tips cheat sheet to attract true love. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can contact me at any time through the free Instant Go app, instantgo.com slash powerlifehypnosis. And this is best if you have any quick questions that you would like predictions or guidance for within 24 hours. So my lovely Pisces friends, let's go ahead and get started on your reading now. So we are going to split this reading up by three month period. So we have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, and October, November, December. But first off, let's go ahead and look into the overall theme here that we're getting for the year of 2020. So we have kind of an interesting thing here because first off, we have the card of the lovers. And this card says, there are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. But then we also have this energy here of the wolf and the devil. The wolf says, beware of who you trust. The devil says, take care immediately to avoid temptation and deceit. So the fact that we had the wolf and the devil coming up, and then on top of that, we have the clouds, which can signify something being hidden from you, something being hidden from view, as if the clouds are covering up the truth or covering something up so you're not able to see clearly. Cloudy thinking. And there was a card that popped out here of imagination clouds your judgment. So to me, this is saying that during the year of 2020, there's someone who you have to look out for. There's someone who you have to watch out for because there may be someone lurking in the shadows. There may be someone who may come across trustworthy, but is really a wolf in sheep's clothing. So I would say pay attention to your intuition. Pay attention to the messages that you receive. For example, if you have met someone new, just as an example, because this can be somebody who's already in your life or this can be a new person. But say you meet a new person and you have kind of a gut feeling that something's not right about this person, then trust that intuitive message because you are likely right. So this can apply in many different ways, but again, there's someone who you likely need to watch out for because it looks like they may be the devil in disguise. It looks like this person may be a wolf in sheep's clothing. It looks like this person is likely going to try to cloud your thinking so you're not able to see the situation clearly. Causing imagination to cloud your judgment. And I'm feeling as though they may try to appear some way. They may try to make themselves appear one way when they are really, again, this other person. So let's go ahead and go into what's going on here. Actually, before we do that, I just want to address this lover's card again. There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. So to me, this is saying that there are two paths ahead. So you can go towards this person. You can go away from this person. What do you feel is right? What do you feel is best? Again, trust your intuition because you can go either way. You can believe this person and you can fall for what they're saying and you can believe them and, and involve yourself with this person or you can be true to yourself and you can go another way knowing that there's someone better out there for you, knowing that there are other opportunities out there for you to pursue where you don't have to get yourself involved in this kind of drama or this kind of deception. So choose whatever path works best for you. I suggest the path away from this person, especially based on the cards that I have here. So let's go into January, February, and March. So January, February, March, it looks like 
You may be dealing with someone who is a lover and a friend, or this person can be an ex-lover. So that's going to kind of be the theme here of what to expect in 2020 during the first three months. Now, I just want to point out, I'm looking at the signs here on the cards that I have. By the way, if you're interested in purchasing future partner reading cards, go ahead and check the description box below. There's a link to purchase these cards. Now, I have Pisces energy coming up very strongly. So, of course, this is speaking of your energy. But some of you can also be involved with the Pisces sun, moon, or rising. Another sign that I'm getting here is Aquarius. So you could be involved with an Aquarius sun, moon, rising. Others of you are involved with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But of course, this is a general reading, so that's not all of you. These are just the signs that I'm seeing coming up here in this reading. So from January, February to March, we have this connection here with this friend and or lover, or this person can be an ex. Now, Okay, so it looks like there's going to be an ending to this connection within that time, or this is just a period of transition. This is a transitory period here. A time of natural transition and transformation. So you may be transitioning out of this connection, or this connection may bring you some kind of metamorphosis, some kind of transition, some kind of transformation. Now, I also want to point out this card here of surprise. So there may be something during the year 2020 that comes to you, which will be somewhat of a surprise. Well, now we've ruined the surprise, but this may surprise you as to when it happens. And this surprise card says, a disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching. So again, an invitation can bring love to those searching. If you receive any invitations, any social invitations during the year of 2020, I highly recommend following through and accepting these invitations because again, it looks like these invitations will have the ability to bring love to you, especially if you're searching for love. And Also, we have the energy of a disappointment being followed by a pleasant surprise. So that is positive news. So again, we have this situation going on with this friend and or lover or this ex here. I'm feeling like for many of you, it's going to be an ex because we do have the death card. Speaking of an ending, bringing about a new beginning. So that's interesting because we also have that surprise card saying a disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. So it could be that the ending of this situation causes a disappointment. However, this disappointment is followed again by a pleasant surprise. Someone may be keeping some kind of secrets with the moon here, likely this other person because again, this is someone who may be deceptive or deceitful with the wolf in sheep's clothing here. Again, someone who may be deceptive and deceitful with the devil. Some of you may be involving yourself in codependent relationships and codependent connections as well. I'm being guided to tell you or kind of bring to your attention. So this moon card says that you will be guided through the darkness. So although you are experiencing disappointment, darkness, endings, you will be guided through the darkness spiritually. And I'm feeling as though, again, just as that surprise card says, there's something better on the other side of this. So even if this seems difficult, keep the faith, keep the hope, keep yourself open to love and romance. Because this ending is going to bring about something better. It's going to bring about perhaps a new beginning. Because, of course, where there is an ending, there's also a new beginning. So you will be guided through the darkness. And I'm feeling as though your spiritual guides, 
your guardian angels, God, spirit, universe, your higher power will be guiding you through whatever challenges that you experience because this person is likely a soulmate. And keep in mind, we have many, many soulmates. I just saw 1010 on the clock. So you will be going through cycles and these are going to be very positive cycles, bringing new beginnings to you. So keep in mind, we have many, many soulmates. Soulmates are those who come into our lives to help us grow, help us learn, help us evolve, help us clear karmic debts, help us learn karmic lessons. So this person has been in your life or is in your life to help you in some way, even if this person does not stay in your life permanently. So you will be guided through whatever challenges that you are facing with this person, with the situation, by your spiritual helpers. And then we also have here the card of intuition. Trust your intuition, just as we were speaking of before when it came to this wolf in sheep's clothing. Trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill, to change careers, or to invest money. So April, May, June. April, May, June, you may receive some kind of clarity about this situation with the stars. The stars represents clarity for one. So you may be receiving some type of clarity regarding the situation, perhaps how this situation is meant to benefit you in some way. And others of you may be focusing on your wishes, your wishes rather, dreams and desires, your hopes, when it comes to love and romance, what it is that you want to manifest in your love life. So after this ending, you are now again, bringing about this new beginning, thinking about what it is that you want to manifest. You may be making plans regarding what it is that you want to bring into your life. So you may not take action just yet, but at least during this time you're thinking about it, you are making plans on how you are to move forward. And this could be based on this clarity that you receive. So we have the card of Cracker. And this card says, positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. So yes, I am absolutely feeling like this is going to be a planning stage. This is going to be a stage where you are getting ready for what is to come in the future. You may be making a blueprint and deciding and thinking about and reflecting on and brainstorming on what is it that you want in your life moving forward? What is it that you want in love moving forward? Because I don't feel as though this is an action-oriented time. Ooh, I don't feel like this is an action-oriented time. I feel like this is a time for planning, for getting ready. Now, we also have here the card of Choose your words carefully. And I'm starting to get chills. And I'm getting chills, well, one on my arms. I don't think you guys, yeah, you can see that, right? Okay, so one, I'm getting chills on my arms, but I'm also getting chills down my legs. So this is, to me, signifying that you're gonna be walking into, moving into a new period, moving into a new beginning. And I just saw 14, 10 on the clock. So yes, you are moving into a new beginning with angelic help that's gonna allow you to start a new cycle in your life. So you may have to make a major decision to do that, or you may have to bring balance into your life in some way, looking at the numbers on the clock. So when it comes to what it is that you're trying to manifest, what it is that you're going to be planning during this time, be careful with your words. So this is saying be mindful of what it is that you are manifesting. Our words, 1444 on the clock, angelic healing is undoubtedly coming to you in the beginning of the year. From January, February, March to April, May, June. Look out for that angelic healing coming to you. So when it comes to, once again, making these plans, setting these intentions, choose your words carefully because our words 
do manifest. For example, when we speak words that are like dismissive of love, not dismissive, but negative about love. For example, I'm unlovable or there are no good men out there or any of those kinds of sayings that goes into our subconscious as they come out and we kind of take on these beliefs, which can in turn block our ability to attract fulfilling love. So be careful about the way you word these manifestations, the words that you speak regarding love, because you have every opportunity to develop and to cultivate love, joy, and good fortune in the very near future. For example, in July, August, and September, but we'll get to that in a moment. So we also have here the card of commitment. And this card says, a commitment is indicated around love or business. It will make you feel better. So one thing that I can see here is there is a theme between changing careers or investing money as well as business. So you may also have some luck regarding business and your career in the beginning of the year. But it also looks like perhaps an ending to this connection is going to make you feel even better. Because again, you are moving forward at this time, setting new intentions, making new plans. You are getting in touch with what you really wish for and hope for when it comes to your love life. All right, July, August, and September. July, August, and September, you may be learning. You may be learning lessons. I'm feeling as though learning lessons is very big here with the book. While it does look like there have been some secrets, some things unknown, some things unsaid, with that moon card that we got in the beginning of the year and the book card, these both represent things that are hidden, things that are secret things that are unsaid, things that are hidden. The book card can also represent learning. So you may be learning how to do things anew with the fool. You could be learning how to start over, how to attain a new beginning, have the courage to embrace change, take risks, and be adventurous. So you are learning how to do something new. You're stepping into the unknown. That's what I'm getting. You're stepping into the unknown. So have the courage to step into the unknown. And yes, it may be uncomfortable to step into the unknown. However, that's the place where all possibilities lie. All possibilities lie outside of our comfort zone. So have the courage to step outside of your comfort zone and know that if you should decide to do so, spirit, God, universe, your higher power has your best interest in mind and has you covered and will not let you fall. Will not let you fall. And you could also be stepping into greater stability, greater security in your love life by doing this. So take risks, step into the unknown and have courage to embrace change. Now, make sure to be mindful of reckless behaviors. Some of you could be involved with fire signs as well. Leo, Aries, Sag. But be mindful of your actions. It's interesting because in April, May, June, you're being guided to be careful of your words and to choose your words carefully. So July, August, September, Reckless actions can lead to conflict. So be mindful of your actions. 
And what I'm also hearing is, if you do not set positive intentions and clear intentions, clear intentions, because the stars represents clarity. If you do not set clear intentions for the rest of the year during April, May, or June, the lack of doing so can lead to some conflicts because you will not have a steady plan in place. You will not have that blueprint in place that you need to move forward with strength, confidence, and a clear path. So not doing so can lead to some conflicts. But however this is going to resonate for you, make sure to be mindful of reckless actions. Think before you act. Think before you speak. Lest you cause conflicts in your life. And nobody wants that. I mean, well, some people do, but I wouldn't recommend it. 21, 1, 2 on the clock. And your partnerships is going to be a new beginning. You also may have to make a major decision during the year of 2020 to attain this new beginning. Now, we also have here the card of love life. Affairs of the heart could cause future problems. Affairs of the heart can cause future problems. But take heart as difficult situations. So as the difficult situations in the beginning of the year, take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. So of course we're talking about July, August, September, not a weekly period. So we can say that difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision during this period of time. So we have here a difficult situation, reckless actions leading to conflict, a difficult situation, However, making a good decision, and it's funny because we were just talking about decisions, and it's 22, and the clock is going now, 29 on the clock. Um, so we're talking about decisions, making major decisions. So by making a major decision, by making a good decision, things are going to switch from this negative energy to something more positive. This is also going to lead to the resolution, again, of a difficult situation. And again, I'm hearing to really trust your intuition. So yes, that was highlighted in the beginning of the year, but all throughout the year, trust your intuition. And it's very easy for you guys to do that as Pisces, as you are water signs, and we tend to be more on the intuitive side. Now, what I'm also hearing is, with this card of imagination clouding your judgment, what I'm also hearing is things may not seem, or things may not be the way they seem on the surface. Things may not be the way they seem on the surface with this person that you are involved with. So just be mindful of that. Again, trust your intuition because your intuition will not steer you wrong during this time. October, November, and December. Okay. So we have someone challenging that you're going to be dealing with that you're gonna be involved with. This person with the bear card may be overbearing, right, with the bear card. This person maybe I keep seeing those two, two, twos, 24, 24. Making a decision is going to lead to more balance, more safety, more security in your love life, in your life in general. So we have here this bear and this snake combination. So again, this can signify someone who you are involved with who is overbearing, someone who's possessive, someone who's dominating. Now, some of you may be focused on school or work, especially being in or attaining a high position. 
But with this bear card, again, when it comes to your love life, you may be involved with someone who, again, is overbearing, overprotective, someone who is controlling as well. And we have a wolf in sheep's clothing, and now we have a snake. So somebody is going to be dishonest. Somebody is going to be sneaky. Someone is going to be self-serving. Someone is going to be the type of person who would betray another. So be careful about this person. Be mindful of this person because this person is coming to you during the year of 2020. And it's important to stay on your toes and trust your intuition as your intuition will not steer you wrong as I keep saying and i want to keep reiterating that fact because that's going to be very important for you the moon represents intuition we had that card of intuition we have all this guidance here of trusting your intuition so the snake card says your intuition those are the first two words your intuition your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path, but be careful. I couldn't have said it better myself, right? Your intuition and your healing powers will guide you to a better path, but be careful. And I was just guided back to the surprise card. saying a disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. So your intuition is going to alert you to what's going on here. And you will be able to go in a new path, in a different direction. Pay attention to your intuition because again, you have two paths. You have two paths. You can go into this situation blindly but after watching this reading, you're not going to be blind. So you can go into this situation willingly to your demise. Or you can choose to step into the unknown. And it may be a little bit more uncomfortable versus just falling right into this person's trap. It may be a little bit more uncomfortable, but that's the right path for you. But you have free will. So you can do whatever it is that you want to do. You can get caught up in this person. You can choose that path. And I'm feeling as though for many of you, this person here is going to be very seductive. And perhaps very good with their words. Able to draw you in with that facade that they have. Oh my God, you guys. So something just said split the deck. Something said split the deck. I split the deck and this is the card that came out. The siren. I have chills, I have chills, I have chills. Look at that. It's like I'm freezing right now. The siren. A temptation. A temptation will lead you astray a temptation will lead you astray be careful be careful of this person this tempter this temptress be careful of this person because they are going to lead you astray they're going to lead you down that path they're going to come across in a way that's going to lead you down that path so you can go for it if you want you know you can do it if you want you can you have that Ability, you have the free will to do whatever it is that you want. You're an adult. Hopefully, all you guys watching this, you're an adult. So you can do whatever it is that you want. I recommend not going in this direction because it does not look like it's going to work out for you. But if you want to figure that out on your own, you can go ahead and do so. If you want to heed my warning, which I recommend, you can do that too. You can do whatever you like. So your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path, but be careful. Be careful, all right? You will be protected, though. So I'm feeling as though most of you are going to pick, pick up on it. Most of you are going to get it, and you're going to recognize it, and you're going to see it, and you're going to protect yourself with the shield. 
You're going to protect yourself. I'm feeling like there's going to be an energetic shield, an energetic wall up, boundaries, boundaries I'm hearing. You are safe from harm. You are being protected. These chills are out of control today. Out of control. Wisdom. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice. <laughs> Heed advice, which we were just talking about, right? From an older person, which I'm feeling like is me. They're calling me older, I suppose. Heed advice. I'm just going to skip that part about an older person. Heat advice, which will allow you to move on. All right. So fo to focus on the past is to lose the future. So by focusing on the good times, by focusing on, you know, the memories, any of that, by focusing on the past, however that resonates with you, is to lose the future. Heat advice, which will allow you to move on. So that's from October, November to December. All right. So overall, it looks like there's this person who's going to be coming into your life during 2020, or this person may already be in your life. And this person is going to be very deceptive and you are being guided to stay away from this person. And this person may be somebody who is in your life throughout the year, but it also looks like you have the opportunity to have a new beginning here to have a new beginning on the other side of this person. And it may also be useful for you to, moving forward, be careful with who you trust. But you are going on a different path. You are going on a better path away from this type of energy. So keep moving forward in that positive direction and know that you are protected. Know that you are guided and guarded in this situation. You are guided by your higher power, God, universe, spirit, your guardian angels your spiritual helpers, you're being guided. And I'm also hearing that what happens is all meant to be because this is going to help bring about some kind of lesson that will definitely benefit you moving forward, okay? So Pisces, these are the messages that I have for you for the year of 2020. Thumbs up and like this reading if the messages may not resonate yet because this is 2019. But if you enjoyed this reading, if you enjoyed these messages, go ahead and thumbs up and like this reading. Comment, share, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Also, again, at the top of the description box, make sure to grab your free three tips cheat sheet to attract true love. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so through the description box or at my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. And there's all sorts of things in the description box to help you attract true and lasting love. So check those links out. I love you guys. Thank you so much for checking out this reading, sending you all so much love and so much light. And I look forward to seeing you here again very, very soon. And make sure to check out your December love and romance readings as well. And if we are in the new year, check out your January readings. I love you guys and I look forward to seeing you here soon. All right. Mwah. Bye Pisces.